methods. Because we've been looking at hands and washing hands, our story today, you won't believe it, is called Hands. It's quite fun. The illustrator of this book used handprints to make the pictures. It's a story by Myrna Lawrence. Let's have a read. Hands. A hand can be a tree so green in which many birds can be seen. Two hands can make two swans so fair, one white, one black, a graceful pair. Did you know pair is another name for two? Two, two hands can form a water lily pink in the goldfish pond where the sunbirds drink. Ooh, look at that. You can turn your hand into a flower picture, a water lily picture. You could even draw a little froggy next to it. Hands are good for giving, cuddles and loving pats, and for stroking purring kitty cats. Hands can steer a truck, motor car or motorbike. A hand may look just like a spacecraft and soon you may be on your way right to the moon. That must be a fun picture to make. A rocket ship. Play a hands a ghost in the night with which you want to give someone a fright. Ooh. Can you see how cleverly done that picture was? They painted around the hand and then when they took the hand away, the clean space made the picture, made the ghost. A hand could be a tropical fish from the sea. Oh look and they used the fingerprints to make the diver. Hands can tickle and hands can clap. One needs a hand to scratch the puppy on your lap. Hands can clean up the mess. Or a hand could be a fairy sparkling dress in which she can dance in the moon's bright light on a happy and pretty night. That's beautiful. Look at all the shapes and colors they used. Oh, the leopards could definitely do art like this. When it suddenly begins to rain, there's a handy play umbrella to use till it's fine again. What a clever umbrella. Hans can be a handsome peacock and even his hen, as you can see. I think they use the thumb for the hen. Oh, how beautiful is that? Hands are for holding. When on a walk, in a park or when you feel lonely and scared in the dark. A hand makes a jeweled crown for a regal queen. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, imagine you had a big crown like that. Or the most beautiful butterfly you've ever seen. How many hands did they use to make the butterfly? Two hands, yes. Hands could be a range of high purple mountains or splashy garden fountains. A hand could also be an Indian chief with feathers in his hair. Ooh, look at the red Indian. Can you remember when we learned from around the world? Where were the red Indians from? Hmm, from America. Hands are a twosome, a couple, a pair. Hands can say, I'm angry or hurt, I'm sorry or I care. Hands fold gently when you pray. Loving hands tuck you into bed at the end of a long, long day. Oh, that's beautiful. I love this book because it shows us one of our habits of mind is to be creative and to, be, to use your imagination. I quickly want to show you again. There, the hand was a tree. There were two swans. The two hands over each other to make a water lily. A rocket ship. A ghost. 
but that one's a bit easy because you don't really use the hand. Oh, the fish is beautiful. Oh, and I love this princess dress. Ariana, I can just see you trying this. And even Hannah. Oh, and an umbrella. And what about the peacock? That's beautiful. Sure, the boys could try this one or the rocket ship even. Let's quickly look at the others too. There's a headdress for a queen, a crown, and a butterfly. I think this one's too easy though for you guys. You big children now. Ooh, I like this one. Milo, you must try this one to make a red Indian um, headdress. Hey, our hands could be all kinds of things. And the book taught us that even your hands are used to show emotion. When you love someone, you can blow kisses. You can shake hands when, you, when you're happy. When somebody got hurt, you can pat them. Or mommy gives you a hug using her hands. And when you're angry, you know, morning ring this morning, teacher Mareka made fists to say, if you, I should meet the coronavirus, I'm angry. And I said, when I'm angry and I feel like it, I make my fists. So did you ever think about it, that your hands are also handy? to show you the way you feel. Isn't that clever? But I've got a challenge for you. This was really an inspiring story. I really would like you, if you've got paint at home, to use it to make a picture using your hands. If you don't have paint, you can trace a hand, then cut it out and then use it in a picture. And, and you know what? You must make a, a take a photograph of the picture and send it to teacher. I would love to see your your ideas that you come up with in how you can use your hands in art. Go and have fun. Bye-bye.